How's it going everyone? The PlayStation Store has kicked off its August savings sale and as always there's a ton of deals to cover and we're going to be highlighting the deals under the price of $5. Definitely a lot of good stuff. Not going to go under $3. I'll highlight those deals in a separate video because there's actually a lot of good stuff at the super, super cheap range that we'll cover as well. But without further ado, let's get right into it and let's kick things off with Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. 90% off for $3.99. Look, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, unfortunately, not coming out by the end of 2024. But guess what? It's coming out early in 2025, February 11th, and that gives you ample enough time to go play Kingdom Come Deliverance because KCD is a fantastic game and with the Royal Edition you get the DLC content as well which is fairly sizable and to get the base game and all of the DLC content for $3.99 is honestly a killer deal. It's not going to be an RPG for everyone but if you like the historical theme of the game I think that'll draw you in a lot. I like the story uh, narratively it was quite good. Gameplay wise it might not be for everyone and I really do see that being what pushes people away at least, you know, the people that don't vibe with it as much. But for $3.99 to get the base game, the DLC, uh, take a stab at it. You'll end up probably uh, enjoying it, especially, again, if you like the setting. Next up, we got Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, 75% off for $4.99. If you guys know me, you know that I love me some Naruto. It is, like, really the anime that I grew up with. Naruto Bleach throwing a little bit of Dragon Ball as well, of course. I feel like everybody, even today, is growing up with Dragon Ball somehow, some way. But... Naruto, for me, was the anime I really gravitated towards. And Storm 2 is a great game, especially... It's a great game from a single-player standpoint, and that's really why I'm recommending it. Uh, Naruto Storm 2, it does a great job of covering the best part of the Naruto anime, in my opinion. And that is the beginning of the Naruto Shippuden anime, all the way up until Naruto's fight with Pain. I think that stretch of 150 or so episodes is absolutely fantastic. There was... Uh, that filler arc, but nevertheless, the main arc was great when you talk about some of the great fights that are uh, in this arc and in that stretch of episodes, I should really say. It was more than just one arc, but uh, yeah, all of that is represented really well in the game as well. In a 12 to 13 hour campaign, you're gonna have a good time with it, especially if you're a fan. $4.99, a good price on that. Next up, we got Shenmue 1 and 2, 85% off for $4.49. Man, Shenmue is one of those games that is absolutely iconic at this point, and Shenmue really really got a lot of credit back when it came out on the Sega Dreamcast because it really pushed gaming forward and it was very much ahead of its time. However, the issue when it comes to games like this that really get by on being ahead of its time, ultimately, time catches up to it. And when you talk about going back and playing a game like Shenmue, you won't be enthralled by the element of it being ahead of its time. And in fact, the aspects it leaned on back on the Sega Dreamcast end up being incredibly glaringly dated, and that is a little bit unfortunate. Still, narratively, Shenmue is a super compelling game, a little bit slow at times, but for 449, these are some of the most iconic games ever Shenmue 1 in particular unfortunately things did not turn out well for Shenmue 3 but uh you know can't have nice things all the time it is what it is as far as that's concerned but 449 for this collection I think is quite good Next up, we got Burnout Paradise Remastered, 75% off for $4.99. Awesome, awesome deal for Burnout Paradise Remastered. Uh, Burnout Paradise is just a great open-world arcade racer, incredibly enjoyable, phenomenal soundtrack in the game as well. Uh, obviously, when you talk about licensed music, that is going to be subjective person-to-person, -person, but I think Burnout Paradise's sound, uh, soundtrack is awesome, and its music selection is fantastic. You got songs like My Curse by Kill Switch Engage. You got songs like... Um, you know, just a lot of great songs all around. A Collapse is a great song in this game, and it's even got a song from the uh, band that did the theme song for Dragon's Dogma 1. I mean, it's a great song. It's called Friction, and uh, you can adjust the jukebox however you want. It's great from a soundtrack standpoint. Let me just say that, but uh, the game itself is a great open-world arcade racer. It does show its age. There are some dated mechanics to it, but overall for $4.99, I think it's a damn good pickup, and I would give it a shout. Next up, we got Mirror's Edge Catalyst, 75% off. For $4.99. I feel like I'm one of the primary people that is pushing the Mirror's Edge Catalyst really isn't that bad uh, narrative because it's really not that bad. Mirror's Edge in 2008, I think, captivated a lot of people and really enamored a lot of people. And Catalyst is a little bit different in the level design and things of that nature, but ultimately, it's still a pretty solid and well-done game. I think there's a lot of well-done uh, mechanics to it, and visually, the game looks fantastic. Even being damn near a decade old, like, this game looks 
excellent from a visual standpoint. I'm not saying, you know, it was worth a $60 purchase, but for $4.99, I do think this is a pretty damn good pickup, and for that price point, I would say give it a look. Next up, one of the more underrated Resident Evil games that I always try to go to bat for, Resident Evil Revelation, 75% off for $4.99. This game initially came out on the Nintendo 3DS and was really slated to be one of the system sellers for the 3DS, and then ultimately, it did get ported to other platforms. I believe it was 360 PS3 first, and then ultimately came out on pretty much every other platform. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations is a really, really solid Resident Evil game, and this was before, like, the Resident Evil boom really happened again with the Biohazard Resident Evil 7, but Revelations was a damn good game. Atmosphere is great. Narratively, it's fine, and uh, gameplay-wise, it's pretty good. It's just, you know, initially, this is a 3DS game, so keep your expectations in check as far as that goes, but for $4.99, I think that's a pretty good pickup. Next up, we got an excellent platformer, another criminally underrated game, and that is Rayman Legends. I feel like Ubisoft can do so much more with Rayman as an IP, but, you know, them's the breaks. We can't have nice things as far as every IP getting utilized, but uh, Rayman Legends, I think, is absolutely tremendous. An incredibly colorful uh, platformer, and uh, a lot of content as well. For a platformer like this, a decent bit of content, let's put it that way. Uh, $3.99, quite a good deal if you want a quality platformer, which I feel like, you know, that is one genre that PlayStation is lacking a little bit on, although Astrobot will hopefully change things. Rayman Legends, Certainly a nice pickup there. Next up, we got Mad Max, 75% off for $4.99. The game, unfortunately, came out the same day as Metal Gear Solid 5, and yeah, brother, uh, even with all of the uh, controversy, MGS 5 has good luck competing with MGS5 as Mad Max. Mad Max, I feel like, in retrospect, is looked back at as a pretty good game. Is it a phenomenal open-world action title? No, but I do think it's a worthwhile game to play through. The combat is super rewarding. The performance is absolutely fantastic. And overall, uh, just a really solid game uh, all around. $4.99 for Mad Max, I think, is a really good pickup. Unfortunately, the uh, you know, it's the, it's a one and done as far as this game goes. No, it'll never get a sequel, but it is what it is. Next up, we got Little Nightmares. Bandai Namco uh, has a real winner of a IP with Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares 3 on the way, but surprised that this has popped off as much as it has. But it's a really, really well done atmospheric horror game. Super, super creepy. Like, as far as horror games go, this game excels with the creepy vibe. It's a super eerie game. Uh, if you're remotely into horror games, $4.99 on that is pretty good. Speaking of horror titles, although less so horror, more so action, Dying Light is $3.99. Dying Light is absolutely awesome. It's a game I always go to bat for, and Techland has done, uh, did a fantastic job of keeping this game updated, I say. Uh, did because yeah the updates have uh, at this point pretty much ended they, they ended like right around the time Dying Light 2 came out but yeah 3 dollars for Dying Light awesome awesome deal uh, great open world action title parkour gameplay is fantastic and for $3.99 a no brainer uh, there couple of other titles do want to give a shout to ease origin 75% off for 499 now ease origin absolutely should not be the first ease game you play you should go ease 8 ease 9 one of those games ease origin is a collection of throwback ease titles and um Ease Origins is going to be a throwback Ease experience. Very, very dated from a visual standpoint. So just keep all of that in mind. Can you have a good time with it? Absolutely. But having familiarity with Ease and having an attachment towards the IP prior to playing Ease Origin, I think would be the best case scenario. So keep that in mind. And lastly, this War of Mine final cut is down to $4.99. An incredibly compelling war story that really flips the idea of a war video game on its head where you play for survival rather than the soldier at the center of the story. This game really does paint an eerie and more so calls on the realities of war and it's not this, you know, chaotic, super-powered experience where, you know, you are the badass that is doing everything and getting stuff done. This War of Mine is a tale of survival and it's incredibly compelling, very, very dark in that regard. Probably not for everybody, but a worthwhile game. Certainly to play through is available on PlayStation Plus Extra, but that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals under the price of $5. Go check all of these game deals out. A lot of great stuff across the board, but that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below and uh, sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.